Hello friends, for every person in this huge world, it is the parents who are usually the closest and most loyal friends. Who, if not them, will teach us to understand the world around us and show us the right way. Even though, to be honest, we don't always understand and appreciate it, forgetting that all they ever try to do is what's best for us and often at the expense of their own interest and even health. But friends, sometimes what most of us see as the norm and what we don't even always pay attention to can be a dream for someone else. A dream that will never come true. A dream of loving parents and a comfortable home. A dream of one little girl named Kaylin from the USA. This story begins many years ago on one of the streets of the roughest neighborhoods of Kansas City, which in the early 2000s was ruled by violence, street gangs and brutality instead of peace and order. It so happened that this was the neighborhood that a little girl named Kaylin Scales, as well as her two brothers and their mother, were all unlucky enough to live in. This isn't to say that her mother was a truly bad woman, but because of the problems in her life, she was often on the verge of a breakdown. She could also disappear from home for several days. Local social services had their family listed as dysfunctional. Nine-year-old Kaylin was often left without food, and it just so happened that it was her who had to take care of her two younger brothers, who were starving and perceived their older sister as some sort of angel. And since their mother was never found, the only way to avoid starvation and provide food for herself and her brothers was stealing. Thus, friends, a nine-year-old girl was forced to commit her first crime. One day, she went into a gas station store, took some food, and left without paying. Of course, the young criminal was tormented by feelings of guilt but hunger could make people do far worse. As one would expect, the police quickly found out about the little thief, and that's what would end up changing her whole life. But first things first, despite all the unfortunate things that surrounded little Kaylin in her life, she didn't despair and believed that the day that won't just bring her hope, but will truly turn her life around, would eventually come. And while waiting for her miracle to happen, little Kaylin tried to spend most of her time in her own little world where there was no dirty streets and no violence. She would sit by the window every day and watch people and the world outside. By some incredible coincidence, one man walked and drove by her window every day. At least she thought it was a coincidence. As Kaylin herself later said, I was waiting by the window to see him every day. He was wearing a beautiful uniform and his walk and his whole appearance fascinated me. He always looked at our window as if he knew that I would be waiting for him there. So one day, I couldn't resist and just waved at him. And how surprised was I when he smiled and waved hello back at me. I remember hiding behind the window because I didn't even think that he had noticed me before. But as it turned out, that man in a beautiful uniform was a police officer named Jeff. Even before the first incident, when he learned about little Kaylin's theft, he had already made a point of watching her family's house. Jeff Colvin was a patrol officer who worked in this neighborhood and having heard the little girl's story, and also after gathering information about her family, he decided that every time he was out patrolling, he would stay close to this house to make sure that everything was fine with the family. But there's more. Starting from that day, their daily greeting became some sort of a ritual. Even though Kaylin didn't even know the name of the police officer, they kept saying hello through the window every day. The girl was always happy to see him. Then a couple of days later, there was a knock on her door it was that same friendly police officer. He was smiling and saying that he just wanted to have a chat. I remember him saying, Hi stranger that always waves at me through the window. I just wanted you to know that if you or your brothers ever need help, or maybe you get scared of something, you can always call me. Don't be afraid of anything. I'll be close by every day. I just stood there and watched him with my mouth open, Kaylin later said with a smile. Considering that their mother wasn't always around, the officer became the only other close person she could trust. When we got scared at home, I'd always tell my brothers that he'll protect us, and it always helped. So that's how the friendship between the little girl and the police officer began. This friendship would later change her whole life. One ordinary day, while walking by the house as per usual, Jeff looked at the window, but to his surprise, Kaylin wasn't there. It seemed off that she didn't come out to greet him. Jeff was concerned, since he was used to seeing Kaylin happily waving at him every morning. Without hesitation, he came to the door of her house and knocked on it, but no one opened. He tried to call her, but there was only silence in response. Then he broke down the thin door. 
As he entered the house, he couldn't believe what he saw. Kaylin was lying on the floor. Seeing her new best friend, she whispered that she couldn't breathe. Her two younger brothers were crying next to her, not knowing what to do. The police officer picked her up immediately, put her brothers in the back seat of his car, and rushed to the hospital. As the doctors would later say, that was the only thing that saved her. Kaylin was so ill that she fainted. She was diagnosed with severe malnutrition. Kaylin's mother came to pick her up from the hospital, but the police officer stayed close. He had a talk with the parents, but he seemed to realize that it wouldn't change anything. So from that day on, he began to come and visit Kaylin and her brothers, always bringing them some food. This went on day after day. He would always tell me that I need to stay strong, that I should never give up. Perhaps he thought that I was still too young to understand anything, but I absorbed his every word like a sponge, and I knew I would definitely do everything as he said. He became like a father for me, one I could trust. But friends, be that as it may, this beautiful friendship was interrupted. But let me just say, jumping ahead, it was interrupted, but it didn't end. Soon after this incident, their mother moved Kaylin and her brothers to a different city, and Jeff didn't know what happened to little Kaylin and how her life turned out. Despite all this, he continued to do his job, and he did it well. 20 years later, he went into a well-deserved retirement. He would occasionally remember the girl who waved at him through the window many years ago, and would wonder how her life turned out. And just as he was about to leave the service, Jennifer Jones, an investigator from Kansas City, approached him and said that she has some important news for him. But to get them, he needed to go to one meeting. Jeff was confused, but still fulfilled his colleague's request. When he arrived at the meeting place, he couldn't believe what was happening. Before him stood a beautiful young woman, full of strength and energy. She was radiant with confidence, but only up until the moment she saw Jeff. Then she went up to him and hugged him. At that moment, he realized who was standing in front of him. But what he learned a bit later managed to make even the tough police officer cry. As it turned out, Kaylin was trying to find her savior for a while. But since it's already been 20 years, and she didn't know his name or if he was still on the force, she tried to search for him on social networks and even went through all the open databases of police officers, but was unable to find anything. And it could have been the end of the story if she didn't get a letter from Jennifer Jones, the investigator, in which Jones wrote that she probably knew who this police officer was. It was Jennifer who set up their meeting. But the climax of this story was still coming. It turned out the girl remembered the words of her guardian angel. That's what she called the police officer. She remembered him telling her to never give up, and she remembered him saving her life. That's why she decided that the cycle of kindness in this world should never end. She was so inspired by his actions that many years later, she became a police officer in Houston. And now, when she finally learned his name, she got herself yet another reminder of why she was guarding the city streets and residents. She ordered a bracelet with his name and the words, Real Hero, written on it. Kaylin is a young mother of two beautiful children. She gets to live and enjoy her life and all thanks to a stranger who she used to wave at every day. The Kansas City Police Department shared this heartwarming story, and soon, other people began to write their stories and all the good things Jeff Colvin has done for them, even the simplest of Jeff's kind actions, which he did every day and saw as something mundane, seemed to have changed many lives for the better, and probably the world as well. So friends, Sometimes it happens that even the simplest of our actions or our words can change many lives, even if we don't know about it. Let us know what you think about this incredible story that took 20 years to play out, and of course, about the police officer named Jeff. So that's it for today. Rate our video if you liked it, and see you soon. Bye!